welcome back friends uh, today we'll start with a new chapter issue of debentures so this actually comes in two parts one is the issue of debentures and the other one is the redemption of debentures so uh, to understand redemption of debentures co complete conceptual clarity of this chapter is completely essential but um, another thing is essential is this first class that i'm going to start now it'll go for another one hour and this one hour will decide if you can master debentures or not if you can completely understand what I'm trying to tell you in this one hour, uh, you're going to score 100 marks when it comes to the debentures chapter. However, see, the way I'm going to teach you is going to be completely logical. You'll understand it perfectly, but provided you pay little attention. Another disclaimer is, I hope you've completed issue of shares before. Though this will be completely new and uh, I'm going to start from scratch, but our few simple concepts of issue of shares may be used here. Uh, though I'll give you a recap of it, but uh, going through issue of shares first is a better first sequence. Now, as usual, before we start any chapter, we'll uh, write topics to be covered. It gives us a framework. So the first thing in this debentures chapter, we'll start with issue of debentures for cash. Then we have issue of debentures as collateral security. Don't worry, the name may be new and you may not have heard it before, but as and when we go there in sequential manner, you will understand everything. So don't worry, just write it down because this is not for now. After this chapter is over and we, when you have to revise before the exam, this flowchart will help you. And next one is uh, issue of debentures for uh, consideration other than cash. Then we have uh, a whole concept related to interest on debentures, like all this accounting treatment. And then we have loss or discount on issue of debentures. So in particular, this is the overview of the entire chapter. We'll start with the easiest concept and we'll finish with the hardest concept, but still it'll be easy for you. Now, this is the overview. Now let's jump on to what debentures actually mean. See, before we go into accounting treatment, we need to understand the core concept and logic behind this debentures. For that, we're going to take an example. Now say uh, there's a firm, ABC Limited. Uh, it's a company, okay. It's limited, so it's a public limited company. So they're well known, they're listed in the stock market and uh, people believe in them, they have good brand, brand value. Now. Now, ABC Limited is in immediate need of uh, 10 lakh rupees. See, the amount is uh, very subjective and just for example, but just listen to the story. ABC Limited need, is in immediate need of 10 lakh rupees for some expansion purposes. It got a new contract, so it needs this much money. So, so ABC Limited, in order to raise this much money, it has two options. One, we already learned before, shares, that is raising money from the market itself. Second one is, taking a loan. So shares we already discussed before. Now this topic will be related to taking a loan. Now this taking a loan, it says there are two different uh, subsections. One, you can go to a bank and you can take a loan from them. So this is one method. But this, the journal entry and the entries for this is very common. And for more detail, you need to learn about banking accounts and that will usually, cover, will usually be covered in uh, C intermediate group to advanced accounting. So right now that's not part of your portions. So the next part of uh, method of taking a loan is by raising it from the market. Market means from the general public. Same like shares. So basically is the shares form, but for a loan. What it means is in short, say in order to raise 10 lakh rupees, what the ABC Limited does is it issues this 10 lakh rupees into 1000 debentures worth rupees 1000 each. So it splits this 10 lakh rupee loan or the amount it needs into 1000 rupees and for that people need to subscribe to 1000 debentures. 
just like shares instead of shares is debentures so debentures is basically as a loan so however the name of this debentures there is whenever they issue something in the market there should be some ticker name right for example the um, reliance share will be reliance share reliance equity the ticker name but here the ticker name will be for example 10 percentage abc limited debentures this will be the name of the debentures listed in the market so this 10 percent abc limited debentures will have will be listed in the market and people will have option to buy 1000 debentures and e to buy each debentures they should pay 1000 rupees that's what it means so for example uh, there are three people one is uh, x y and z x says that i need uh, 500 debentures y says i need 300 debentures z says i need 200 debentures so x pays 500 into 1000 y pays 500 into 1000 and z pays 500 into 1000 so after he pays he gets an acknowledgement acknowledgement means just like a share certificate he gets a debenture certificate that is so of the ticker name 10 percentage abc limited debentures x has subscribed to 500 debentures worth this much rupees so this acknowledgement is referred to as actual debentures so this is what debentures actually is the name see yeah 100 debentures is how they divide the uh, loan taken but however the uh, whenever we refer to debentures we actually refer to the acknowledgement given by the company after a person purchases it from the market now this is the entire concept now same way this is tradable in the market you can exchange it you can buy and sell it everything is the same as issue of shares so that's why i hope you have understood it but uh, in case you have not understood it then uh, the only reason is you should have gone through the issue of shares properly but other than that, I think it's easy to understand. So now, another relation between uh, debentures and the issue of shares chapter is, whenever we, if you have gone through issue of shares, what we'll do is, basically, we have application, we have allotment, first call and second call, all those things will be there now. Basically, the, these are installments for the payment of shares. Same way, debentures also have installments. But however, we usually, while well, solving the uh, questions, we skip this part. Even the examiner will be okay with it, we'll skip this part. But still, I'm just making you uh, realize that there is the same concept for shares and debentures. Because the uh, logic is the same. Only thing is, share is the owner's fund, debentures is the borrowed fund. That's the only difference. Now, I'll give you a proper example related to this. So, for complete clarity, and I promise that after this one hour, you'll be thorough with debentures and you'll have proper grip over it. So we're going to start with questions directly. Now these questions, these six questions, six cases form the base of the entire debentures chapter. Usually this will be in different uh, places in your uh, workbook, but I have compiled it into one place so that it will be helpful during revision. And once we cover all these six, everything else will be just icing on the cake. It'll be additional points. But this is the base. So pay close attention. We are going to jump into detail and you'll enjoy this concept. One more reason for you to understand completely is I've explained the logic and the concept of debentures clearly. So now you'll be able to relate the accounting transactions to that logic. So that's why it's going to be more easy. Now, here they say case one. We need to solve six cases separately. So here they say issue of rupees 5 lakh. 10 percentage debentures at par and redeemable at par. See, now there are five new terms here. Everything will be explained. But before that, I would like to write something down. Whenever we so solve issue of debentures questions, we need to solve it in two parts. One is we need to pass entries when it comes to issue. Then after the issue entry is done, we need to pass entries related to Redemption. 
I want you to follow this method even in your exam. This is for complete conceptual clarity. Now, I want to solve the first question and then we'll explain because after I solve it, your understanding will be better. Now, wait. Issue of 5 lakh 10% debentures at par. You know, 10% debenture is the ticker name. So, what do we do? We write bank account debited to debentures application account and we have 5 lakhs and we have 5 lakhs here also. It is the same thing as shares. Whenever we issue, it goes into application money. Then what happens? After this application is done, it goes into allotment. And after the allotment is done, it gets transferred to, for here it's not share capital, here it's actual debentures. There is 10 percentage debentures account. I did this because I wanted to explain the last part of the previous page. Here, same installments come into play. Here, is, I wrote first application money comes in, then allotment money comes in, then you allot the debentures, then it gets transferred to the debentures account. The proper ticker, there is 10% debentures account in this case, instead of share capital. So this is the concept of debentures. You keep that in mind. However, in your exam, this is not necessary. I just wrote this because I wanted you to understand the relationship or the similarity between issue of shares and issue of debentures. Now that, that is taken out. I'm going to tell you how to write that, how to write it in the real exam. Simple, same. So issue of issue of debentures. First, you receive uh, uh, money from the bank account. Then after you receive money, what do you do? You're skipping all that part, uh, application allotment and all those things. It directly assuming it to be uh, like, in, uh, assuming that the amount directly goes into the debenture account. So we always write the ticker name. What is the ticker name? 10 percentage debenture account. That is the ticker name. So, one more thing guys. If you have any doubt about ticker name, what it means is, in your liability side, under uh, non-current assets, fine, okay, non-current liability, uh, there will be debentures here. But it will be under debentures, then we may issue many types of debentures. We may issue one uh, 5 lakh for 10 percent, then we, we may issue 3 lakh for 9 percentage. All those things we may issue. So under that, we'll have 10 percentage debenture. And against that, we'll write the amount. That's why we always pass entry in regarding this name. So this is the name that needs to be entered in your journal entries. Now, let's go on to the next part of the question. Here they say, we issued 5 lakh worth debentures. So we issued 5 lakh worth debentures. That means we receive 5 lakh. Now, this is the entry for issue, but however, this is not the complete entry. In this case, they say that I issued 5 lakh worth debentures at par. At par means if the debenture was, uh, for example, I'm not, I'm not giving you the distribution of it, but assuming that it's uh, rupees 500 each and they issued 1000 debentures. Because only then we issued 5 lakh worth debentures. That's what it means. So, assuming it's uh, 500 rupees each and we issued 1000 debentures. So, at par means the person who is paying, that's uh, someone who wants to subscribe to the debenture of the company, will pay exactly 500. Nothing less or nothing more. Now, you may ask why will somebody pay less or more? In the next cases, you'll know. Sometimes you may issue a premium, sometimes you may issue a discount. All those things are simple, but here it's said to be at par. Now, the next part of the uh, entry, issue entry is done. Issue entry is simple. Bank account debited to 10% debenture account. That is the issue entry. Now, next part comes to the redemption entry. What is the redemption entry? What does redemption actually mean? See. If someone subscribes to your debentures, 5 lakh, 
what happens is they get a certain interest every year see if the company raises money from the bank you have to pay interest to the bank right same thing if the company raises on the public they, they are not giving, going to give you money for free they are going to charge interest for debentures because it's a loan so he'll give a certain amount of interest every year here it clearly says 10 percentage so the reason for this 10 percentage there's a reason why i told you here because now you understand it fully the reason for 10 percentage before in the start of the ticker name is this 10 percentage is the rate of interest per year so this means that 10 percentage of 5 lakh will be given that is 50000 will be given to the public every year as interest that's what it means now this 5 this 5 lakh was for 1000 debentures right so in respect of people for example if a b and c purchase 300 500 and 200 this 50000 will be allotted or will be given to uh, a b and c in the ratio of the shares they own that's the basic concept so this is 10 percentage now the next part is if you take a loan from the bank yes you have to pay interest but at the end of a certain specific time you need to repay the principal also correct the same way after a certain time the company should repay this 5 lakh amount to the public so the public what they get they get interest and also they get repayment of the principal amount so this repayment of principal amount is what we call redemption of debentures it is the same thing it's very simple now how much time will it take to repay that and all will be part of the debenture agreement and all, debenture deed debenture trust deed and all you don't have to listen to uh, think about those things whenever that's required i'll uh, let you know about it but right now at your level it's not necessary so now the meaning of redemption is this which is in the credit side obviously it's in the credit side because it's a liability and here also it's in the credit side only right it's a liability so this liability in order to get reduced in order to be repaid this liability will decrease and we need to pay them cash or bank it's always bank so this entry is entry for redemption so i'm going to write the redemption entry here 10% debenture account this five i mean debited which is 5 lakh to instead of bank this bear with me i'm going to write debenture holders account 5 lakh and then wait wait i'm not completed my uh, explanation then here this debenture holder account will be debited by the same 5 lakh and we pay bank now you can ask me why didn't i directly do the bank entry because here instead of application allotment i directly did this debenture uh, account entry why didn't i do the bank en entry directly simple these two happens on separate days maybe there'll be one day difference or something However, mostly they say it happens on the same day. For now, you are, you assume for your level it happens on the same day. But why didn't I directly do bank? The answer is I already told you that for example the uh, company uh, requires ten lakh rupees. So what the company does is I'll issue a ten percentage debenture for to raise five lakhs. then i'll issue a 9 percentage debenture for 3 lakhs and i'll issue a 8 percentage debenture for 2 lakhs now these are three separate debentures and the entries for all these three won't be clubbed it'll be done separately keep that in mind because is a separate accounts right now this is the rate of interest like i told you so 10 percentage rate of interest there'll be one debenture 9 percentage one in one debenture 8% one debenture so these three when it needs to be redeemed at the uh, at, as, at the end of a certain period what happens is instead of doing 10% debenture to bank 9% debenture to bank 8% debenture to bank what uh, the company does is it does 10% debenture 8 9% debenture 8% debenture to 
debenture holder which is a common account that is about 5 lakh 3 lakh and 2 lakh and then they make the bank entry of debenture holder at the end so this uh, this actually for the accounting is an art perspective because for better uh, presentation they do that simply there's no other specific reason now another question that may come at this particular time is what decides the percentage that's what decides the interest rate for the company to issue debentures see those things when you come to financial management in your ce intermediate or you're doing cfa or frm at that specific uh, at that specific time i'll tell you but for now just uh, keep in mind that uh, it depends on market conditions it depends on the uh, needs of the uh, company like it, it may be only be able to pay 8 percentage it can't afford to be more than that as interest or uh, if the company for example is not well known see for example there are two companies one is uh, say tata and another is xyz and tata issues 10 percentage debentures for 1 lakh and xyz issues 10 percentage debentures for another 1 lakh since it's an open market who will company who will the public prefer obviously tata it's a well known brand there's a risk of uh, the money not uh, not drowning so for such cases so xyz will not be benefited in the market so what xyz does is sometimes xyz say, can say that i'll give you 20 percentage uh, interest so because it'll give more interest people may subscribe to xyz so out of that perspective also sometimes the interest rate may, may be decided but there are, there are many number of factors but for now as far as your uh, question goes this is all that the examiner can ask for so this is the first case so 10 percentage debenture were issued at par and redemption entry was done here you can see that redeemable also at par same thing how much it was paid for how much it was issued the same amount was redeemed so that's the first case first case is done now from the second case there will be a little change but pay attention to the concept only the change is just an addition now case number 2 here they say if you have 10 lakh debentures 10 per, 10% okay debenture name at a premium of 10% but redeemable redeemable at par hmm. what does this mean simple it before that you are able to understand the journal entry right if you are not uh, message me i'll give you the journal entries uh, for a uh, uh, particular class you go through that and then you will be able to understand it but i hope you don't have any problem with journal entries even then just give me a whatsapp message in one hour you will be clear with journal entry concept then you can continue now case number 2 in case number 2 it specifically says the 10 lakh it was issued but at a premium this is a simple concept the entry for this is the same as we do for issue of shares whenever you issue shares at premium it is the same logic we are issuing debentures at premium what right. 10 percentage debenture account 10 lakhs if your premium means what they pay more for this then they should so security premium reserve 10 percentage so 1 lakh so 11 lakh now the concept of security premium reserve i explained in detail in issue of shares if you have any doubt that means you have not gone through the issue of shares lectures i strongly advise you to go through it even though i'll try my best to recap it in a small way now so i'll give you an example so, so uh, for example there are two companies one is uh, reliance and the other one is x y z limited now both are issuing 10 percentage debenture for the same value of 10 lakh rupees they want to raise that much now even though for example 10 uh, 10 lakh rupee is in such a way that 1000 rupees debentures 
into thousand dimensions. Same thing for this also. Now, one thing you need to know is that this is standard. Once the company issues it, it's standard. But however, I also told you that this is determined by the market because you need to issue it in the stock market. Now, people don't know XYZ's limited name, so the demand will be less. But however, people want to invest in Reliance. So though the number of debentures issued, that cannot change. However, this price is dependent on market conditions. So since there'll be huge demand, people are ready to pay even 1,200 rupees or more to subscribe to 1,000 rupees of uh, Reliance debentures. Just to know that their money will be saved once they once they put in put their money in the debentures of Reliance. So that's basically it. Now, this thousand rupees, it goes to the account that is uh, the ten percent is debentures account. That's normal. But this two hundred rupees in excess. Let's say it's hundred rupees because in this case it's hundred rupees ten percent. This ten percent is hundred rupees in excess per share. Or per, per debenture will be shown in a separate account called security premium account. This can't be used. There are numerous restrictions. This we went in went to detail in the issue of shares chapter. So this is just that the extra amount paid by the public will be transferred to security premium. But be aware of something. When redemption comes in, only this 10 lakh can be redeemed. That the public can only demand this 10 lakh and the company pays only this 10 lakh. This one lakh will not be paid back to the public. This was just done so that the public feels safer and the public has put in more money than what is required because of market demand. But only 10 lakh can be redeemed. Another point, another note you need to write down is, write a note here. This security premium or any premium or any discount, which you know in the next uh, case, will always be on face value of the debenture. What is the face value? This account, this sticker, this is the face value. The face value is 10 lakhs. Now, the issue entry is done. Let's go to the redemption entry. Now, redemption, I already told you, redemption is done in at par in this question. So what do you mean by at par? At par basically means how much the public has given in respect to the face value will be given back to the public. Now, 10 percentage debenture account debited 10 lakh to debenture holder account 10 lakh and then Simply debenture holder account debited 10 lakh to bank account 10 lakhs. Now, if you see closely, this security premium will not be transferred. Security premium can be used only for specific things for buyback of shares, and there are many cases that, but right now, all that you need to know is. At par or without at par, it doesn't matter. At premium or whether whenever there's redemption at par or at premium, security premium amount will never be used. Only this face value will be used, and other things will be used, which you'll know in the next case. Now, case number three. Issue of ten lakhs, ten percentage debenture, or a discount of ten percentage and redeemable at par, redeemable or repayable is the same. Now. Um, Case 3 is actually also pretty simple. It's the same logic. Here they say the entry for issue bank account debited to 10 percentage debenture, which is face value account. Whenever there's face value, it will always come in to debenture account. This value will never change. This is the actual issue amount. This is the face value. No matter if it's a issue at a premium, issue at a discount, 
issued at uh, redeem, redeemed at premium, redeemed at discount, and all those things. It doesn't matter. But this, the amount in with respect to the sticker or face value, this never changes. This will always be the same. But here they say 10% discount is issued in. So if 10% discount means what? Discount is an expense. It will be there on the debit side. Discount on issue of debentures. 10% on 10 lakhs. What I told you, all premium, all uh, discount will be on the face value. 9 lakhs. Next part of the question. I also told it will be redeemed at uh, at par. So, redemption entry. Ten percentage the venture account debited ten lakhs to the venture holder account ten lakhs then the venture holder account debited to Bank account. It's also 10 lakhs. Now all these cases are redemption at par. So now we'll jump on to redemption at premium that we'll do after this case. But one thing you need to know is no matter what they say, if they say it's issued at a discount or issued at a premium or redeemed at a discount or redeemed at a premium, the face value that is this value, issue rupees 10 lakh, this will always be written against the ticker name or the main 10 percentage debenture account. This will always be constant. Only thing that will change is a, disc a new discount account may come, a new premium account can come, bank account may change with reference to both sides of tally. Other than that, nothing changes. Now, the next case. See guys. We finished three cases. We have three more. By the end of the six cases, you will cover all the cases that can come in the exam. Now, till now, the logic was clear, right? I have explained the reason behind everything and rational also. Now, once you pay attention to this, revise till now. I think you just have to read it through. Now, we'll see a little difference. Here they say, a 10 percentage debenture at 10 lakh was issued at par, but it is repayable at a premium of 10 percentage. Now, we, we usually did issue at a premium only we did. So whenever it's issued at a premium, what does it mean? More demand. So excess demand, what do we do? We can't chain it in the face value. We create a separate account called security premium account like we created an issue of shares, which is 1 lakh. That is 10 percentage. And that is done. But here they say we have to repay 10 percentage more. So basically what do they mean? Basically, in case number four, bank, as far as issue entry is concerned, bank account debited to 10 percentage debenture account, 10 lakh, this face value never changes. Since it's issued at par, this is the entry. There'll be no discount or no security premium because you have to divide the entry into two parts. First one is the issue entry. Another part is the redemption entry. Always keep something in mind. In any question, till this part, that is still issue, the entry will be done separately. The thought process will be separate. And redeemable at par or premium or discount. This entry will be done separately and the reason, the rational is different. So, first you take care of this part. Then you go to this part. Don't get confused. You need to do it separately. Now, in this part, we'll uh, try to incorporate that change from now on. Here they say 10 percentage debenture was issued at par. So, at par entry was done. Next part of the question, they say it was repayable at a premium of 10 percentage. So, here the premium comes. But however, the premium comes with respect to repayment, not issue. 
so whenever uh, premium comes with respect to repayment then you need to do a, do a certain thing what is it you pass a next entry saying that at the time of repayment i have to pay 10 percentage more but however just think about about it logically right when you repay what do you do 10 percentage debenture account debited like in net effect 10 lakhs and to bank but they're telling you need 10 percentage more you need to repay so when it's 10 percentage more that means 10 lakh plus 1 lakh because all premium all discount will be calculated on the face value so 11 lakhs so now both sides are not telling what do we do here so we need something in the debit side right so for that what account says is we write another entry with respect to this. The next entry is we create an additional liability called premium on redemption of debentures. What is the premium? 1 lakh because 10 percentage. Now, since we create an additional liability now, now both sides will tally because we are already creating a liability. So what does then what will happen at the time of redemption? If you think about it logically, you can find the reason behind everything. So 10 lakhs. Now we have to repay how much? 7 lakhs. So now we have created an additional liability here. So that liability which is in the credit side, now we can put it in the debit side. Now both sides standing. Now, this part is done. But however, in order to create this liability, since we are passing another entry, we need to do something in the debit side, right? Now, for that, what it means is, we follow the conservatism concept. So basically, the question tells us that we have to repay 10% more at the time of redemption. So what is the conservatism concept? Any future profit we have to not take into consideration, but any future loss, we will take it into consideration right now. So any future profit, we don't make entry, entry now, but whenever there's a future loss, then we assume that the loss is now. That's conservatism of prudence concept. So since this premium of redemption will be a loss at the time of future, why? They paid only 10 lakhs, but we agreed to pay 10% more. So we have 10% loss in the future. But as for prudence concept, we had to assume the loss to be today. So for that, we create a loss saying that loss on issue of debentures account debited 1 lakh. Since loss comes in the debit side, we put this loss on issue of debentures in the debit side and both sides tally. Now this part is done regarding issues. Now, at the time of redemption, what do we do? Simple. 10 percentage debenture account debited. The space value never changes. Any premium or discount will come in regards to other uh, accounts. So now, we also have to repay this no, premium on redemption of debentures. To debenture holder. This all is constant. 11 lakhs. And then cash payment, bank payment. Debenture holder account debited to bank account 11 lakhs. Hope it's clear. One additional clarification. Now, this loss and issue of debentures we have here. This loss, I have got this doubt before. That's why I'm telling you now. People are saying that what happens to this loss? Simple. At the year end, it goes to PNL account. And it will be shown in the loss side. But however, this liability will be part of the balance sheet. And at the time of redemption, it may be 2 years, 3 years, 5 years, 10 years, depending on, depending on the uh, debenture trust contract. At that time, this uh, liability will be taken off. 
another question i have gotten before is why do we give premium at the time of redemption why does a company for to force to give the such things simple we'll take two companies again tata xyz limited 10 percentage in percentage now in our people will prefer tata so in order to make itself attractive what tata what uh, xyz can do it will increase the debenture interest rate that is one way second way is we can say that you pay me only 1 lakh this is exactly what happens they issue 1 lakh worth you pay me only 1 lakh but however at the time of redemption i'll give you 10 percentage more that is i'll give you 1 lakh 10000 so one when it make such claims or they say at the redemption you get this much premium so then also people public may get attracted and they may purchase such uh, debentures so that's another reason why such things are done now let's move on to the next case the next case will make sure you don't have any problem with the concept case number 5 they say issue of 10 lakhs 10% debenture at a discount of 10% But redeemable at premium of five percentage. See, at this time you should not get tensed. It's simple. You have to break down the entries like I told you. Issue entry separate, redemption entry separate. So till now, till this point, you have to think in a certain way. After this point, you have to make some other entry. So let's finish what we know first. Here is a ten percent debentures at a discount of ten percentage. This we know how to do. Simple. What does it mean? bank account debited to 10 percentage debenture account 10 lakhs change there's a discount on issue it's a loss of 10 percentage so 1 lakh comes here and so we receive oh uh, sorry sorry so we receive 9 lakhs Correct. This is the first part of the entry. Second part of the entry is say a discount of ten percent is done, but this year is redeemable at a premium of ten five percent each. What does this mean? At the time of redemption, the company has to pay five percent each more. So what do we do in respect to redemption entry? Simple. We create a liability of premium on. Redemption uh, premium of the premium on debentures at time of issue. Give whatever name, but this premium on debentures should be man there in that name. Now account it's five percentage, so fifty thousand. In order to coincide, what they do is they write loss on issue of debentures account fifty thousand. now the part is over both the entries are done now it's time for redemption what happens at the time of redemption simple 10 percentage debenture account debited 10 lakhs and also this premium the liability we created that also will come premium on debentures account debited of 50000 will come and we transfer it to debenture holders account this 10 lakh 50000 then what cash pay bank payment that is common debenture holders account debited 10 lakh 50000 to bank account 10 lakh 50000 now let's come to the point where you get complete conceptual clarity i'm going to explain the entry separately now if you look at the case above here they say they issue 10 lakh 10% debentures at a discount of 10% but it's redeemable at a premium of 5% this is the question I told you to think about the issue part separately and the redemption part separately. So now, what we did, what we did in this case, 
first part we since the face value doesn't change we put two 10 percentage debentures account in the face value 10 lakhs after that since we we had a uh, we issued it at a discount so 1 lakh discount is done and bank account will receive 9 lakhs now that part is over and then they say is redeemable at a premium of 5 percentage now that 5 percentage will be given at the time of redemption so now this 5 percentage will be based on this 10 lakh see simple the discount also will be based on the face value this premium also will be based on this face value another discount at the time of redemption also will be based on based on face value the premium on the time of issue also will be based on face value that is the common part if you took to if you are taking care of that you won't make any mistakes in such questions i have written note regarding that before it seems now we create a liability and in order for both sides to tally we create an expense because of prudence concept and now at the time of redemption we transfer the uh, face value and the premium and we uh, transfer the debenture holder then payment is made now you can see that why didn't we transfer even discount see this question is what i got and i was really unhappy with this question uh, because you can only get this question if uh, if you have not gone through the issue of shares concept but even then i'm going to clarify it now simply put what happens here is i already told you that xyz made, makes different uh, options in order to uh, attract customers or attract public one one thing it raises the interest rate second thing it says i'll pay you 10% more at the time of redemption that you pay me 1 lakh i'll pay you 1 lakh 10 but 10000 the in redemption another thing that the uh, company says is i'll i'll pay you 1 lakh only but however at the time of issue at the time of payment you pay me only 90000 This is discount at the time of issue. That is, the company pays only ninety thousand. So the public pays only ninety thousand. Or for in this case, it pay it pays only nine lakhs. But however, as far as face value is concerned, ten lakh rupee will will get repaid because this will be debited in the future at the time of repayment. And discount on issue will also go to the P and L account on that year. That's it. That's why this does not get uh, transferred to uh, redemption at the time of. Uh, the uh, repayment now and also all this all expenses and income get transferred to pnl on the same year only the liability can uh, move on to the next year or asset can move on to the next year for repayment we have learned this in 11th standard if any doubt then ask me for final accounts also that also i'm ready to give you now uh, another question this is where the entire concept comes into play if we, till now there should, there should be conceptual clarity but now this is going to make every concept before clear here they say 10 lakh 10% debenture at a premium 5% at a premium of uh, 5% percentage, but redeemable at a premium of 10% percentage. now i know few of you started doing it directly is good but let's do it uh, one final time here they simply say You have to divide it into two parts. So first entry is issue of ten lakh ten percent debentures. The issue premium of five percent each and redeemable premium is ten percent each. So first we do the issue premium. What is the issue premium? We all know the rational behind both. If some premium you get at the time of issue, that means what huge demand. So it goes to security premium. If some uh, is redeem means you have to create a liability and you have to pay uh, this ten percent each more. So what does issue premium mean? Bank account debited. See, in this face value doesn't change to ten percent is debenture account ten lakhs to security premium. It is a five percent is of fifty thousand. So what what do they say? They say ten percent is ten percent is. It's correct only. Now ten lakh fifty thousand, and now what do we do? It's repayable at a premium. So repayable premium will be done separately. In order to repay at a premium, what do we do? We have to create a liability. Premium or debentures account 
10 percentage so 10 percentage on the face value 1 lakh then what happens here one loss should come for both sides to tally this loss comes then one lakh comes here now next part issue entry is done now it's time for redemption entry redemption entry already told you security premium will not be part of any redemption why because this is for excess amount paid by the public for the brand value this can be used only in specific cases which was discussed in detail in the issue of share chapter as far as accounts entry is concerned you don't have to know the cases now 10 percentage debenture account debited premium on debentures this one account debited to what is the final one to debenture holder account and lakh fifty thousand ten lakh fifty thousand Then debenture holder account debited to bank and lakh fifty thousand. How much are you have to pay? The debenture holders will be paid. That's it, guys. This is the entire concept. Now, I hope it's clear. One second, I think. Uh, I'm running a little low when it comes to battery. Yeah. So uh, the entire concept is clear. Now only one part is go through the six cases. Come revise tomorrow. It's actually very simple. It's very logical. I'll give you an overview for quick reference. Simply here, you have to divide the uh, part of the question into two parts. One is issue entry. Another thing is redemption entry. That's exactly what we have done. Issue redemption. And for issue entry, they say whenever they issue at par, then directly bank to the face value. And redeemed at par means same. This face value only will be paid to bank. Then they say it's issued at a premium. Issued at premium, what does it mean? When security premium will come. And we have to pay that people are paying extra. But still while making payment, only this 10% of the face value will be paid. Then they say issued at a discount. Issue at a discount, what does it mean? That means that people are paying less. Debited. Bank will be debited. And though there will be no change in face value. And this will be paid. And now, redemption at par. Whatever was paid will be paid. Redemption at a premium. That means we need to create a separate liability. On the, the rate will be based on the face value. And that separate liability will be paid after creating a corresponding loss. That separate liability will be paid as a premium along with the face value. That's what it means. So in short, whenever discount comes at the time of issue or premium comes at the time of issue or a security premium reserve, that will not be paid. But whenever redemption will be made at a premium, for that a new separate liability will be created that will be paid along with face value. That's the basic concept. However, sometimes they say redemption and discount. That is another easy concept. As per real life situation, it's not possible. But that will be discussed in the next class because it's a very small concept. Which will be one additional 10 seconds for you. But for now, you don't get confused because uh, actually, logically, it won't be asked in the exam. It's not possible. Now, why I'll tell you in the next class. Another thing I would like to mention here is Yeah, in this case, you see there are two expenses. One is loss on issue, one discount on issue, and another is loss of issue. After doing six, uh, four, five more questions, you will learn, you will on your own try to merge these two entries. You will merge these two entries together. And what you'll do is this discount and this loss, you'll put together as loss on issue. And you'll add the total that is 50,000 plus 1 lakh. You read 1 lakh 50,000. Because in a way, discount also comes under loss of 
loss on issue of debentures. But uh, don't merge both and write discount on issue. Loss on issue is the right one. That's it, guys. That's it for today. This is the first class. This actually covers the major, almost 80% of the debentures. Because once this concept is clear, others are easy. So go home, revise. Tomorrow we'll come on uh, with the next part of the uh, chapter.